On the whole, we have a strong team with a good mix of both experienced ministers and younger office holders. Amongst the 4G ministers, some have been in office for several terms, a number entered politics at around the same time as me, and others are still relatively new in their roles. I will be working and interacting with all of them. And beyond this term, if my government is re-elected, I plan to rotate the 4G ministers to different portfolios and give them wider exposure and experience. Amongst them, I'm sure some will be able to step up and take over from their senior colleagues in due course. Likewise, amongst the junior office holders, there will be a few who will be able to take on larger responsibilities. But we will still need more fresh blood as some of the older ministers are likely to retire either at the end of this term or shortly after. And so I'm actively looking for new candidates with the potential to be office holders. I aim to further renew and strengthen the team with new members, especially men and women in their 30s and 40s. There is no higher priority for me, and that is to form the best possible team to serve Singapore and Singaporeans. Overall, we have a full agenda ahead of us to keep Singapore safe and secure, to tackle the immediate concerns of Singaporeans around cost of living and jobs, and to translate our forward Singapore aspirations into concrete programs for the benefit of all Singaporeans. More and more, many of the issues we deal with will involve close linkages between the economy and the society. And so I'll be working closely with both Deputy Prime Ministers and the Ministers to review and coordinate our policies across multiple fronts. And we will also be engaging closely with our partners, especially the labour movement and NTUC, as well as other stakeholders. We are fully committed to working with all Singaporeans to chart our new way forward. 